Now, the funny thing is, you got Barnabas and Paul, and as I wrote down, men that trampled underfoot the gods that people worshipped and feared. Paul dismissed demons like he would a dog. How do you, how do you dismiss a dog? Well, the same way that Wigglesworth talked about dismissing demons. The woman was at the train, had a little dog with her, and she was waiting on the train to show up, and Wigglesworth was watching her, and she's like, now go home, puppy, run home, run home. And the dog was just dancing around her, and she kept saying, no, now you got to go home. you gotta, you got to go, go home. And the dog didn't pay any attention to it. And then the train started pulling up, and she knew she was just going to get on the train, and so she turned to the dog, and when she turned to the dog, she said, I said, get! And the dog tucked tail and took off. And Wigglesworth yelled and said, that's how you have to do the devil. If you just talk to the devil normal and nice, he ain't going to listen. Devils will, they'll hear you, but they're not going to obey you. Why? Because there's nothing in you that says they have to. In other words, nothing the way you're portrayed. Now, they know what's in you, and they know you have authority over them. They know that you have enough power to beat any one of them at any time. But they know you don't know that. So they will continue to run over you, just like a crooked lawyer would do in a lawsuit. If you don't know, see, that's why you need a lawyer. That's why we have an advocate with the Father. Why? Because you don't always know all the ins and outs of the courtroom. And so you need an advocate that knows those ins and outs. Amen? Knows what motions to make and all these different things. Now, 